Jewelry also making a pretty fantastic present for your sweetheart this year. There are plenty of beautiful pieces to surprise her at the Tucson Gem Show, and that's where Alex is shopping for us. Hey, Alex. Hey, Heather, some of these minerals certainly do look like jewelry, and we're looking at a beautiful piece here. I'm here with Les Presmick, uh, president of the Tucson Gem and Mineral Society. Les, what, what piece are we looking at? Uh, so the piece that you're asking about is what's called morganite on elbaite. Most people know the green version mm -hmm. of beryl. That's emerald. The blue version is aquamarine. The pink version is morganite. It's beautiful. So you've been doing this uh, for decades, over 50, almost 60 years, almost right? 60 years. Um, tell us about the competitive aspect of the show. So I'm in charge of the competitive exhibits. When people come to the show, most of the exhibits that they will see are guest exhibits. But we have one block of about 15 exhibits mm -hmm. where people put their their minerals on display and they will be judged by several teams of qualified judges that I select and then they are awarded prizes. The most the part that we put the most effort into is with our junior exhibitors. Right. Those exhibitors that range in age from 10 to 18. Mm -hmm. We have one dealer that, that provides cash prizes for those uh, junior exhibitors and has for the last 10 years. We also have very high level competition for cases like the ones that is right behind us. And it's a beautiful case and you were remarking it how it's it's lit, right? It's important the way they light it, the, the specimens that are in it. So what makes this case so remarkable? So as everybody knows, we've gone from incandescence to CFLs to now LEDs. Yeah. And with the LEDs without any heat, now we can start to light these things the way they, they should be lit. So a lot of the specimens in this particular case, the exhibitor has gone to great expense to put special LED lighting mm -hmm. either underneath or behind each of the specimens. And it really does make such a difference. And as you say, over the years, the technology has evolved to be able to display these in better ways. And you were telling me some of these minerals are sensitive to heat. They're sensitive to light. So it's important to display them properly. And it's just, again, one of the beautiful cases that you can see here at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show. Here at the TCC, now through Sunday, uh, come see Les. Come see all the great exhibitors and all the great dealers. Heather, back to you.